Good morning, Sunrisers. I'm Dr. Karen Emerson, and today I have with me my technician, Skylar, and this is actually a bearded dragon named Chuck. He is actually 24 months old, and Chuck has been seeing us on and off his entire life. Um, he's had some issues with constipation, but the major issue that's happened with Chuck is he actually got injured. Um, we don't know exactly what happened, but it was, had to do with him getting in and out of his cage. Um, he actually has a neck injury, and I bet you're thinking, well, how did you know that a lizard had a neck injury. Well, his mom brought him in and he was actually having muscle spasms and paralysis, meaning he was unable to use his legs. And when bearded dragons go to get their food, they get up on all fours really high and they can run really fast. He was avoiding that. He was actually just avoiding being active at all. So we didn't know, well, is he constipated? Is this a pain response? Actually, my associate, Dr. Jansen, saw him first and did a really good exam and noticed that he did have some neck pain, and he had what we call neurological deficits, meaning he uh, did not respond when we did a neurological exam on some of his limbs. Now, there's a lot of different things that can cause this in reptiles. One can be a calcium deficiency, a dietary deficiency, which we check with that. All that was normal. So when we elicited the pain on the neck response, we knew there had to be something there. So we actually did an x-ray, just like you would do on a dog or a cat or any other animal eliciting pain. And we actually noted that he had a stenotic uh, cervical area. And all that means is his vertebral bodies in that area were basically stenotic, meaning they were pressed closer together. And he almost had a disc rupture in that area. I know a lot of you out there are probably familiar with back pain or you have basically what we call intervertebral disc disease. Well, lizards can have that too. They can get injured. So what we did is we did an x-ray, which we're going to show you where he had his lesion. Then we started doing laser treatments. This is the laser I'm always talking about. Yes, we use it on exotics too. Another thing we did, this is just a wonderful thing, this is the first time we've ever used it, is we started him on gabapentin. Gabapentin actually is a drug that we use on other animals with disc disease. I've never used it on reptiles before. We started it. We had it specially compounded. He's doing wonderful. So if you have a bearded dragon that you notice is not moving around normally, they're not able to catch their crickets, they're acting kind of painful when you pick them up, they may even be trying to bite when you pick them up. That's not normal. Call and make that appointment. It's so important. And I promise your pets will thank you. WCBI Animal Health with Dr. Emerson was brought to you by Emerson Animal Hospital in West Point.